What's up, beautiful entrepreneurs? Have you been dealing with dark spots or just an uneven skin tone? Well, I know that's just the story of my life. That is why I created this hyperpigmentation vanishing cream. This is a great face cream that's going to help to get rid of the hyperpigmentation. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the video. Let's get started on making this face cream. Now, when it comes to making creams in general, you wanna make sure that you understand that you have your water phase, your oil phase, and then your cool down phase. And we're gonna Going to start off with the oil phase now in this formula we're going to start off with mango butter now mango butter is a really great ingredient when it comes to facial products because it's not as oily it's going to be a really soft butter it's not as thick as a shea butter so mango butter is really great when it comes to your face creams or any light butter of that nature with the mango butter you're going to be using this at five percent then you're going to use rose hemp oil. Now rose hemp oil is a really great ingredient because it helps with acne, it helps to lock in moisture, also really great for skin cell turnover, and it also helps with getting rid of dark spots as well. So this is a really great natural oil to help with the hyperpigmentation process. And for the rose hemp oil, we're going to be using this at 7%. Then I just wanted to top off the oil just a little bit more and add in argan oil to really help with the dry spots that we get with hyperpigmentation. A lot of times you'll have a lot of dry spots in those dark areas that you have and a lot of times maybe the rose hemp oil won't be enough so you want to add in an additional boost of moisture here with the argan oil and this is another great lightweight oil that's not going to be too heavy for your face and we'll be using this at 3%. Then you want to add in your wax so i'm going to be using emulsifying wax and this is what's going to emulsify our face cream now with emulsifying wax and f is going to be a thickener while also emulsifying the product this is going to be at five percent of the overall formula with all of your oils butters and wax you're going to measure those all out and add it to one big container and add it to a double boiler to all melt down together now once you have that set aside ready to set on the double boiler you're going to take your distilled water now your distilled water just your biggest ingredient this is going to be at 72% of the overall formula now when it comes to this formula you're going to also be adding in niacinamide now niacinamide is a really important ingredient because this is going to help to boost the additional additives that we have added into this formula to really help with the hyperpigmentation niacinamide also helps to brighten up your skin and when it comes to hyperpigmentation really helps to limit the transfer of small structures within the skin cells that causes hyperpigmentation in your skin so niacinamide will also be a boost but also is a great additive to help get rid of hyperpigmentation and keep it at bay as well now for the really great star ingredient in this formula is going to be glycolic acid. Now this is a really great ingredient when it comes to hyperpigmentation. It's going to help to exfoliate your skin to get rid of the hyperpigmentation on your skin and really start to shave away that um, first layer of your skin to bring out new skin that's going to be even as far as your skin tone and really help to brighten up your skin as well. So the glycolic acid and the niacinamide added together really help to level up each other to make this a really great ingredient for your hyperpigmentation. Now with the glycolic acid, I'm only using this at 2%. You don't want to go too overboard when it comes to the usage rate of glycolic acid. Now you'll be able to add the niacinamide and the glycolic acid to your distilled water. Now as you have your oil phase on the double boiler, you want to also add your water phase to the double boiler as well because you want them both to come up to the same temperature but just be sure to add a, a piece of foil over the water phase in order to help the water all the water to stay within the container now once everything has melted you want to take it off the double boiler and you're going to pour in your water phase to your oil phase and you're going to mix as you are pouring those together and you'll already see the emulsifying process start to work at this time from here you want to get your immersion blender now at this point this is where you're going to immerse your oil phase and your water phase together so you're going to use your immersion blender and you're going to pulse those uh, phases together in order to get your your cream to start to mix 
Um, as you allow it to cool down and you just hand mix your product, you will start to see that the cream starts to thicken. And once you've gotten it to thicken and it's gone down to room temperature, this is where you're going to add in your preservative. Now you wanna make sure that this is a water-based preservative so that it does mix well with your product. So now that we're on the topic of hyperpigmentation, you gotta try out this rose water hyperpigmentation gel mask. It's beautifully fragranced with rose water, but really helps to tackle those dark spots. Definitely check out that formula and I'll catch you in the next one.